Yeah. Well, how do you be embracing the Puerto Rican culture? They're naming you here, Gallo de Prado. Yeah. We see you with the mask here. Yeah. In Puerto Rico, how do you embrace Puerto Rican culture living here the last few years? Man, just going to the beach all the time, like having fun. Everyone here likes to fight and drive fast. <laughs> so these are exactly my type of people. <laughs> El Gallo de Dorado. A lot of people expect a lot of from this fight. You have been prepared for a long time. What do you think you have to adjust on this few hours before you, you know, go to the ring and fight? Yeah, I think it's going to be a really crazy crowd. I think everyone's going to be super, super loud. So it's about not letting the nerves and adrenaline get to you. Um, wow, Amanda, let's go. Um, so yeah, just staying calm is going to be the key for this fight. Well, you know, it, it means a lot, but mostly the people here are so grateful for it and they love the sport as much as I do. So I know the gyms are going to be put to use and hopefully the next Amanda Serrano can be built from one of the gyms around the island. And it just means a lot to be able to give back. You are giving Amanda the big stage. Yes. How does that feel? It, it feels good. You know, there's a little pressure off of my shoulders. Uh, but that's what she deserves. It's, it's her home island, and she's the star here. You hear how loud everyone gets for her, and uh, that's what she deserves. So. Jake, Jake. For you that you have been receiving here in Puerto Rico. Man, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I guess I just was, I don't know, just myself, and uh, yeah, just wanted to do an event here for the longest time. I met with one of the head people at the Pro Boxing Commission and he was like, hey man, we haven't had a fight here in decades, mm -hmm. like we need your help. And so we just eventually made it happen and it, it took a lot of work and some adjustments and things, but I think now moving forward, you're gonna see a lot more fights here. Jake, 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 Jake just out of interest, we see Amanda Serrano on the main, on the main event, She's always flirted with a fight with Katie Taylor. We know Katie Taylor is obviously promoted by Eddie Hearn. Yourself and Eddie have always gone back and forth now, but where it stands now, what's your relationship like with Eddie Hearn and what do you sort of think of him at this moment? Well, you know, I think he's a typical person in boxing, you know, says a lot, promises a lot, but doesn't deliver. His mouth is bigger than everything else he does. Um, and basically, we've been trying to make that fight happen all the negotiations, everything, and it's just really difficult to, to work with them. So it is what it is, but obviously Amanda wants the rematch, so uh, we're, we're still gonna try to make it happen, and besides our differences, I'd love to figure it out with them. It just, it takes two parties to, to make a deal, so. It's been a, it's been a year since, it's been about a year since you lost to Tommy Fury. Um, how much have you grown since then, and that is that rematch still on the table for yourself? Yeah, for sure. You know, I think it has to happen at some point. Uh, but I, I'm a completely different man, a completely different boxer. Um, you know, so much can change in a year, and I, I encourage everyone at home to really feel that. And you can become a whole new person, a whole new everything, and that's really what happened in my life. Um, so it feels a lot longer than a year ago for me. Welcome to right 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 Jake, it's Puerto Rican Kid KG with Fight Hype. Two questions for you. I know you don't want to look past Ryan Borland, but is there a bigger fight in boxing than you versus Canelo? Uh, <laughs> May I, I don't think so. Yeah, it's it's got to be top five, and I think it will happen at some point. I've been talking about that for a couple of years now. Canelo's brought it up, so it, it makes sense. Um, and he's coming to the end of his career, uh, where he's going to want to make a lot of money. He left PBC, so Canelo, once again, I want to fight you, brother. Let's make it happen. You can run, but you can't hide. What is that fight you about, this on, year? Hold on, hold on. Talking about people that want to fight you, Tyreek Hill's calling you out. What are your thoughts on that? I just think it's another Nate Robinson situation, and it's no disrespect to Tyreek. He's a phenomenal athlete, but you can play football, you can play basketball, but you can't play boxing. And he can be as fast as he wants, but he'll end up the same as Nate Robinson, which is turned into a meme. And if he wants to do it, we can do it. Jake, another one I wanted, another one I wanted to ask you about. Yourself, you've shared the ring with great combat sports athletes. Someone who's always had jibes at you from my shores is Carl Froch. Um, do you ever think that Froch would ever come out to retirement to fight you? Of course he would. He wants payday. Of course, bro. 
Every, all these guys will fight me. I, I'm the new Floyd Mayweather in the sport, seriously, because I make my own decisions and I know how to get the business contracts done. I do the biggest pay-per-views and I'm my own boss, so I can move and go wherever I want. So yes, I am the new Floyd in the sport and yes, everybody wants to fight me. Would everybody hey. wanted to fight you? What is the fight you want this year? Canelo, the KSI. I want a lot of fights. I want a lot of fights, but I think the, the number one on the list would be Canelo. They say that you're not prepared for a fight like this. What do you have to say to them? Well, they're just going to see, you know, actions speak louder than words. And just because someone's been doing something their whole lives, Ryan Borland, 19 fights, all these accolades, amateur Golden Glove champion, blah, blah, blah. But I've been doing it for four years and I've been doing it better. So they're going to see who the better athlete is and who the better fighter is on Saturday night. How's moving to Puerto Rico has helped you transition to becoming a boxer? There's so much focus here in peace. There's no distractions, and I pretty much just box all day long, twice a day. And being on the island is the best place to train, running on the, the beaches, swimming in the ocean, all the amazing fighters down here to spar with, it's it's the best spot. And a message to the fans. Man, I, I just love it. What, don't blink on Saturday night. I'm going to knock this guy out. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you, too. Jake, Jake.